not have the name recognition of other candidates, but former New York Governor George Pataki says his moderate politics will help him win the race for president. WMTW's 8th political reporter Paul Merrill was in Exeter, New Hampshire today for the campaign announcement. This town played a role in the creation of the Republican Party, and that's one of the reasons Pataki chose it as the spot to make his White House bid official. It is to preserve and protect that freedom that this morning I announce I am a candidate for the Republican nomination for President of the United States. The three term Republican governor from New York worked up a sweat during his Exeter Town Hall campaign announcement this morning. So I know I'm ready. I know I have the ability to lead and change this country's direction. And I know I have the ability to appeal beyond just the Republican base to the electorate we need to win this race. Pataki told supporters he wants to ban members of Congress from ever taking lobbyist jobs, repeal the Affordable Care Act, and end Common Core. He also took some jabs at Hillary Clinton. She speaks for the middle class. They are the party of privilege. We are the party of the middle class. The GOP field is already crowded. Pataki's moderate appeal could doom him in the primary. He's, uh, he's almost too reasonable, I think, to appeal to the base, you know. But the former governor's supporters believe he can win the nomination and the general election. If anybody can defeat the um, Clintons, and, and I say that plural, um, it's somebody who has taken a historical democratic state uh, and got elected not just once but three separate times. Outside the event, we found some Mainers who say they are coming to New Hampshire to protest the candidates they believe will cut Social Security. Jim Lyson from Lewiston says the program will stay solvent if the richest Americans pay more into it. There's a cap currently at, at $118,500. We scrapped that cap. We can sustain Social Security for everybody in perpetuity. New Hampshire's primary will be held on February 9th. In Exeter, New Hampshire, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.